Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Saturday, July 22nd, 2023 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I nurture the parts of myself coming up for love, coming up to be nurtured. And today we begin our Venus retrograde process. It's also the last day of Sun in Cancer. Um, the Sun will move into Leo later in later in the day later in the evening uh 6 50 p.m pacific time so it's 9 50 p.m eastern time that's sunday <laughs> over in europe um we're gonna focus on this venus retrograde for this video and then you'll probably see me showing up tomorrow for sun in leo and also chiron retrograde so this venus retrograde for about the next 40 days, we have Venus doing the Inanna process, going into the underworld, going into the cave. It's actually also Mary Magdalene's uh, feast day. And I pulled a Mary Magdalene card from the new Mary Magdalene Oracle by Megan Watterson. And I actually pulled the cave, which is Sanctuary Exists Within. Um, if you watch other astrologers, I've had I, I try not to <laughs> because I don't want to take anybody else's work as my own. Um, and I know my Gemini sponge can sponge things up. Um, so I like to be a clear channel. Uh, but many of my clients have brought up the fact that there are many astrologers saying this is a summer of love. And in some ways I disagree. And in some ways I agree. How I disagree is to me this isn't like the hottest, flirtiest, sexiest summer. It really is about the summer of self-love. As Venus goes retrograde in the sign of Leo, we are called to love the most unlovable parts of ourselves. We are called to love on our inner child. We are called to even hold love and space for the projections of ego that pop up. It is a call to love, but it is a call to inner love. In and through this energy. Any retrograde is a call within. And as of Venus going retrograde and Chiron going retrograde, we have so many planets going into the retrograde process or going through the retrograde process. And so the universe is just like, within, 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 look within. Everything we need as a soul <laughs> is coded within. As humans, yeah, we need some food, sleep, water, those things, right? But the soul in us, what we need, the soul, the spirit, the heart, it is contained within. And so this is a call to nurture yourself with that, to douse yourself with that. As I was sitting here thinking about this energy, um, what came through was that we all have times where we feel like we don't belong in this world, right? That we don't want to be here. We don't belong. What even is going on? And those are the calls to the inner cave, to your heart of hearts, because it's those places that will ultimately remind you of why we are here, what we are doing, and it will reinfuse you so that you can show up and be a beautiful, bright light for the world. So think of this as a retreat. <laughs> Venus is going retreat style <laughs> through Leo to help support us in this next oomph <laughs> that is coming up and in. Now there may be challenges in and through relationships. I generally find Venus retrogrades to be very challenging in personal relationships and I see that in my clients. So recognize that. I think recognize through this time when whew, egos are flaring through this and it also may be any difficulty. Well, it's not a call to hide. It is a call to recognize that maybe it's just all a bit too much right now and you need to turn within. Oh, I wish I could remember the word. <laughs> I saw something scrolling on Instagram, a word that's not used anymore. And it's not quite intubate, but it's something similar to that. And maybe, basically it's like sitting in a corner and kind of like hiding from the world. <laughs> We may feel a little bit like that with Venus retrograde in Leo. You know, she doesn't feel like going out. That is okay. Now, let me just say, if you feel like going out at this time, 
do it. By all means, go out and play. But make sure that you are giving yourself those times to hibernate, to cave, to connect with your inner you, to nurture these inner parts of you that need your attention. That is the calling of this energy to show up. It's also interesting that Lilith is hanging out with Venus as this retrograde process begins. And so this may be a turning in to retrieve these more soul connected parts of yourself as well to bring them forward. It's also interesting that we have this yod going on connecting to Neptune and Pluto connecting through time and dimensions and space connecting us to deeper parts of our power. So this is a very potent retrograde. It'll be going direct September 3rd. And side note, Jupiter goes retrograde on the 4th, so one planet of grace goes direct and the other one retrogrades. They're definitely working together in the dance. Um, the cards I have, one flipped out while I was shuffling, the morality card, the shoulds. And I think that part of this retrograde is shaking out. Think of Florence and the machine. Shake it off or shake it out. Um, shaking off the shoulds, where they hold you back from being able to access your heart. You see here, there is no heart space here. Venus retrograde in Leo connects to the heart and it is a return to the heart to come back more vibrant, more juicy more in love. There is a call to breakthrough. Look, we go from this space to this, feeling that big, bold light of the heart. And what the world needs now is all of us to light up our, our heart lights, for sure. In and through this, we are going to go on the adventure. We're going to face some of those shadows. I think there's a lot of inner child stuff that's going to come up. A lot of places where we may have had to in the time, pull curtains over our hearts um, because the world wasn't ready to be sensitive. I always see that with Joe. He has one of the biggest hearts I've ever known, and yet the family that he grew up in wasn't ready for his heart, and so there was, like, curtains, and little by little, those curtains come open. So watch for that in yourself. Um, we, we're going to have to face some thoughts and emotions in this process as well in being in this and so just be aware and see where you can shine a light for yourself and in your shining a light for yourself do know this is ultimately going to help shine a light for others i'm not going to read this whole cave card um but it does speak of mary magdalene and you did oh well i'm gonna say this i'm gonna read this part she says in here, I've always loved the metaphor of the cave as a sanctuary within the heart that we can return to whenever we need stillness, that silence of no longer seeking or asking or trying to be anything other than who we are right now in this moment. Uh, so um, it has a soul voice meditation. What is the prayer I want to leave in a love note at Mary's feet? And I love that in support of this Venus retrograde happening on the feast day of Mary Magdalene. What is your prayer for yourself, for your heart at this time that you can access? Leave that with her. Work with her. <laughs> She's very supportive of the energy of love to help support you through this process, in and through this process. I also posted a passage from one of my favorite books. I posted it on uh, Gaia Blooming, uh, the Facebook page, so go check that out. I'm going to leave that here for now. I have a knock at my door. Um, you can email me if you want a reading. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power. And remember who you are. Namaste.